everybody, welcome back to a brand new Aviation Jack video. Hope you're doing really, really well. So today, it's a bit of a different video, it's not a full flight video. Today I'll be showing you how to request clearance on VATSIM. Now this video I'd done about two years ago as a tutorial, I never got around to doing the rest of the VATSIM tutorial. Um, I can't remember what the reasons for it was now, but I know there's some complications. Anyway, two years later, this is the next bit of that video. So um, yeah, today's video is going to be showing you all beginners obviously on VATSIM how to request clearance from ATC via voice or text um, so quick things to remind yourselves of voice and text exactly the same thing just one is with your voice or one is on text but the, the principle is you still say the same thing as you're just gonna say um, so also if you go back to the last video last video I showed you how to connect a flight plan so we connect to VATSIM and file a flight plan with the once you file a flight plan or if you need help to do that please go back to the previous video um, but this bit is the next bit on how to actually request the clearance so as you know I use Simbrief um, to get a um, flight plan into my flight sim um, also by using Sim Toolkit Pro once you have your flight plan using Simbrief and I did also show that in the last video you will get something like this which is an OFP um, which is essentially your flight plan now this flight plan is your best friend because this will basically tell you everything that you need to say to uh, the ATC and also what they're going to read back to you, hopefully. So um, as you can see here, the flight plan I've filed on Vatican State is from Gatwick down to Amsterdam. Now here it says we're departing runway 26 left, I'm going to go flight level 290 and then also depart on the Fran M1 mic departure. Now ATC in an all great world they would read this back to you basically so they would say you're clear to Amsterdam via the Franny one mic departure just realized that sounded like something different then um, the Fran one mic departure squawk blah 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 uh, flight, kind of like well, 290 something like that yeah so that's what they basically basically say back to you but we're gonna basically have a look at what we need to say to them before we can receive that clearance so first of all what we need to do is we need to go into vpilot so as you can see here here is our vpilot box, let's just move that a bit so we can see both of them we'll head into the flight deck where it's slightly more quiet as well so here we have easy 4th Quebec. so first of all you know that is your flight number so in your little notes pad here where it says notes we're going to type in easy 43 Quebec and just leave it there that's how you can remember your flight number um, when you're reading it back the next step is to start writing down some information for ATC to receive so as you can see the current active um, ATCs are online for us is uh, Gawick ATIS, Gawick Ground and Gawick Approach. Now for whatever reason ground wasn't on, you would request clearance from Approach Departure. If none of these were on and only Tower was on, you would obviously request it from the Tower. The only the only person you don't go to when requesting clearance is the ATIS obviously because that is an automated service which basically repeats the weather. Right, so um, clearance delivery is rare they're on, they're not always on um, unless it's really busy but this is where you'd, you would go to clearance delivery first and then go to um, ground after. Um, it's kind of an order for you anyway, so if not clearance delivery then ground, if not ground then tower, if not tower then approach departure, if not approach departure then sensor if they cover your airport. Okay, so now what we're going to do is start writing down some details. First of all, just to speed things up a little bit to make life easier, if we double click the ATIS, like so, as you can see it brings up what uh, the controllers have put in for the airport. As you can see here, it says Gatwick Information Juliet, runway in use 26 left. Um, don't worry about the ILS approach because we're not approaching here. Um, temperature 12 degrees, connection 1006. And here it says, acknowledge receipt of information Juliet and advise aircraft type on first contact. So that is really a bit of important information here. Okay, is that exactly what you need? So we're gonna go, go back to our notes page here. I'm going to type in a few details that we just received. So as we know, we need to say Info Juliet. We know they're on the aircraft type, so we're going to type in A320. And we need to know where we're going, obviously. So we're going to type in Echo Hotel Alpha Mike, which is Amsterdam's ICAL code. Um, and also our stand number. This is in a different order, by the way, but we'll make it easier in a bit. Um, so our stand number, I believe, is 112. Yes. And stand number 112. So let's go back here back into vpilot uh, stand number 102 
Now, that is all the information we actually need to receive information and clearance. So what we're going to do is, before requesting the clearance on the ground, because obviously these are the next ones that we can request clearance from on 1 to 1 decimal 8, I'm going to write it down in how we're going to say it so it's easier for beginners to know exactly what you need to say. It doesn't have to be exactly the same, but as long as it's got all the information you need in there. So you would say, you know, whatever time of day it is. So I'm going to say good afternoon. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, easy 43 Quebec requesting clearance to Amsterdam. Uh, we are an Airbus A320 um, on stand 10. Was it? No, it's 112. Sorry, stand 112 with information Juliet on board. Or you could do it as good afternoon, Renee, but um, easy, blah blah blah. Renee was 20, someone to finish your request and clearance to Amsterdam. Um, you could do it any order you, you really want, I don't think it really matters. Um, but this is the order that I just tend to do it in. That's just the way I do it. Um, if we just click send on there, see it goes into my little box okay. there. So, so down here, we're going to tune to Gatwick Ground, which as you know is 121 decimal 8. So 121 decimal 8. And now you can hear the ATC in the background. Easy for one Yankee Zulu, Gatwick Ground, hello, good afternoon, welcome to Gatwick. Okay, so now we're going to request clearance on ground. Ground good afternoon, easy 4-3 Quebec, requesting clearance to Amsterdam, please. Uh, Airbus 820, stand 112, information, Juliet on board. Easy 4-3 Quebec, is cleared Amsterdam, Sheffield by the frame, one mic departure, squawking 2173, information, Juliet is correct, QNH 1006. Cool. Clear to Amsterdam, Squawk 2173 um, on the Fran 1 might departure on Ray 26 left, QNH 1006, easy 4 3 Quebec. Easy 4 3 Quebec, read back correct. And there we go, everyone. That is exactly how you request your clearance and what you're going to hear back again. So we heard back the QNH and also the information again. I'm not a real world pilot, obviously, there was obviously ways this goes about. Um, this, is, this is what works for me and what I've always done. So um, yeah, so we requested the clearance, uh, we said what aircraft we were, we said what stand we're on and we also said what information we had on board and we received back what we was expecting which was, um, as you can see here, the Fran 1 mic departure and also the squawk of 2173 uh, and also the depart of, departure in runway which is runway 26 left. Um, so yeah, I hope this video helped you um, with how to request clearance. Um, on ATC at on Batsim, sorry. Um, and yeah, thank you all for watching. Any other Batsim tutorials that you'd like to see, do let me know. Hopefully, this is easy enough for you. All you've got to do now is just repeat that method wherever you are. It's slightly different, I think, in the States, but uh, I think they read back a bit more to you. But over in Europe, it's all the same wherever you fly. So um, yeah, thank you for watching, and I will see you all in another video. See you later. Bye bye.